What is up my lovely viewers? Today we've got another NX video. I know I've been making a lot of these, but I'm super excited for this system, regardless of what it ends up being like. Uh, this video today is actually something that makes me even more excited. So a guy called Untyped Hero has popped up on the Reddit Nintendo NX forums and claimed a few days ago that he was gonna give us some more NX info and was gonna try to be verified and for- oh, there's a snowplow. He's gonna have us wait a few days. Now, just today, he just posted this about five hours ago, some NX information, and he had to give, according to him, he had to take about three days and 11 different pieces of proof to prove that he does have connection with developers, and the moderators both on here and NeoGAF verified him, so this guy's the real deal. Uh, so this is what he had to say. Uh, as promised, I've decided to share some NX information with you. This is second-hand information from trusted sources, like last time, and I have little reason to doubt its validity. Here you go. So I'm going to go point by point and tell you what I think. Uh, x86 architecture. Uh, this is good, but it's also not good in another way, but it's not a huge deal. So the good part is the fact that PC and all the other consoles are all moved on to x86 architecture, so if Nintendo's at x86, that's going to make it easy to port games over to their system. That's good. x86 is also a breeze to code for, because it's, again, it's just been so common for so long. So good. I'm, I'm hoping that that's 100% true. Uh, the reason it's bad is because if it has x86, we're not going to get native Wii U backwards compatibility. So, Wii U games are probably going to show up on the NX in another way, probably ports. I would hope that maybe there's a way, like, if you already own the game on the Wii U, that you don't have to pay full price for the NX port. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, no native ports, and I doubt there's going to be any emulation, because the Wii U is also a pretty beefy system to emulate. And it... The only reason Microsoft is able to emulate some Xbox 360 games is because this is Microsoft. They've been mastering software engineering for decades now. It makes sense that they'd be able to do it. Uh, next point, backup data to my Nintendo server. Uh, makes sense. That's Nintendo's said in the past that with their partnership with Dina, they're trying to modernize some things such as their internet stuff and backing up saves and stuff to a server. That's a good idea. Uh, also, I, I would assume the backup data also means if you buy a game, it's not tied to hardware, it's tied to an account. Thank God. Support for an additional screen. Now, I'm hoping that this isn't built into the controller. I'm hoping that this is just an option thing, or maybe an ability to plug in, like, two TVs or two monitors or something. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I don't want it in the controller because I want as much of the cost as possible of this system to be put into the hardware specs and not into extra stuff. That is a problem the Wii U had. Here comes the snowplow again. And the gamepad brought the cost of the console up a lot, so they had to cut back on the power. Even the Xbox One suffered from this a little bit initially. The Kinect being bundled with it caused the hardware to be behind the PS4, but just enough for people to, you know, complain about it. Uh, can handle ports of current-gen games. That means that the system's going to be at least on the level of current-gen game hardware. I would assume probably beyond it. If Nintendo prices the system around, like, $400 and squeezes as much power into the system as they can for that price, they're gonna do exactly what Sony did, but a few years later, and that's good. That means that it'll be kind of like a jump from PS3 to Wii U, where you will see improved visuals, but not by like a crazy amount. But it's more reasonable, because the Wii U came out, what, six years after the PS3, while this the NX is only coming out three years after the PS4 if it comes out in 2016? It's a little more reasonable that way. Uh, we'll be able to interact with smartphone apps. That makes sense, too. Uh, with Mitomo, which was just released, and by the way, Mitomo's amusing. It's definitely fun. It's kind of like a social media version of uh, Tamodachi Life. Uh, definitely pick that up. It's, it's, it's fun, it's charming in a, a Nintendo way. But this makes sense, because, again, the whole Dina partnership. Nintendo is... Of course they're gonna, you know, make their devices work with... Their games work with smart devices to take full advantage of that partnership. And using NX software will unlock My Nintendo reward points. This makes sense too. They just moved on to My Nintendo. Uh, Club Nintendo was, of course, retired a while ago. This makes perfect sense. Uh, okay, so that was the information that was leaked for today. Nothing, no bombshells. It's kind of stuff we've been expecting. But if this is verified, we can be a little bit more sure now that some stuff that we've been definitely wanting for this system is definitely coming true. Now. Uh, I will say, let me scroll down to what this moderator said real quick. This user has been verified by the mod team. We have confirmed that he has connections to Wii U developers and or development hardware and very likely has knowledge about the NX via those same connections. This verification is sort of general slash open-ended and I can unfortunately cannot verify specific details on a point-by-point -point basis. 
Now this means that this might not be true. He might have connections to Wii developers and development teams, but he could possibly have either the muddled truth, whether it's his fault or not. But for the most part, this is one of the few verified Nintendo NX things that are on here, and that's a good thing. It's a nice uh, fresh breath. The good thing is we shouldn't have to wait too much longer until we have NX information. I, if the system's being released this year, and there's way too much evidence to point towards it being released this year, then they're not going to wait till E3 to reveal it, because that would be too soon of a, re like a reveal and then a release. They want to get us hyped up for E3, give us more details at E3, and then have us be hyped up for when the system comes out. But my point is, we're not going to have to wait too much longer for actual info, but this info here is definitely stuff that we've been wanting to hear, and that's a good thing.